Hi everybody, it's Brian here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So after the wonderful feedback that I received for the last episode on my channel pertaining to text effects for various text designs, I thought that I would delve a little bit deeper and try to come up with yet another cool, inventive uh, way of creating some really fantastic text designs on the free version of Canva that could really help take your print on demand business to the next level. So I really hope you enjoy this episode. And with that said, let's get started. So as usual, before we head over to my computer, the fact that you're here means that you are interested in all things pertaining to print on demand. And I want to thank you wholeheartedly for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this episode. And I really hope that it gives you a lot of value and really motivates you to take your print on demand business to the next level and come up with some fantastic designs. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support you have shown for this channel by watching the episodes that I'm uploading. And if you're new to this channel, Welcome, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. I upload new episodes to my channel every Wednesday and Saturday and the scope of this channel is to help you take your print on demand business to the next level and hopefully make more sales. Okay, so with that said, let's hop over to my computer now and get started with today's tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is the website from where I got the resources that I'm going to be using in today's video. And in today's episode, I got my resources from the website pixabay.com, which you can see on my screen right now. And basically, all I did was I typed in the word geometric and I made sure that the selection out of the drop down window here obviously was on vector graphics. So the next thing that I had to do was go through the various listings that Pixabay brought back for the keyword geometric and try to be a little bit selective with respect to what kind of um, black and white type of designs that I was going to utilize that would really work well with different types of phrases and combination of, of words in order so that it wouldn't look cluttered and would look really great on a t-shirt, on a mug, or any other kind of product offered by any of these print-on-demand uh, websites that are out there. So I already went ahead and did that, and basically I'm going to show them to you right now. So the ones that I chose was this one here, which sort of looked like a, a black hole, and then this hexagonal type of pattern, which sort of gave me, you know, the feel of, you know, something pertaining to bees and environment, um, and even the phrase be happy for, for children or whatnot. I'll show you that to you a little later on. Um, then we had a golf ball. So obviously, again, we're talking about the golf niche. Um, this sort of cracked texture, which obviously could go really well with, again, things pertaining to environment or maybe jokes pertaining to you crack me up or whatnot. Um, and then this concentric shape, which really caught my attention when I looked at it. And it's this design that we're going to be using in today's episode. Now, I already went ahead and created designs for all of these other resources that you've seen here. Um, and I will be showing them to you at the end of the uh, the episode, just to give you a little bit of inspiration and motivation, and just to show you how great this particular text effect um, can really be when you give it a little bit of time and a little bit of creativity and just basically have fun with it, you know? And that's effectively what it's all about. Having fun, coming up with a phrase, trying to find some kind of, you know, graphic that would go really well with a piece of text, superimposing it through the use of Canva, and then putting it up on a t-shirt or a mug or what have you. Okay, so let's get cracking. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go on to Canva. And we're going to create a design. And what I like to usually use is 4500 by 5400 pixels. It's already here because it's the my go-to um, canvas size. And for many of you know, this is a great canvas size for merch by Amazon. And it can be effectively used on a bulk of print-on-demand platforms. So that's a great size to work with. Okay, so now the first thing that I want to do, just like we did with the previous episode, is we want to create a piece of text. So I'm going to choose add a heading here. I'm going to bring that up. And the phrase that I'm going to use today is, I'm going to put my caps lock on, don't wind me up. Okay, so now the first thing that I want to do is I want to decrease the spaces between each of the words. And to do that, we're just going to click on this icon here, and we're going to drag down the line spacing. Oh, I have to select all, and then we're going to decrease the line spacing. And I don't want them touching, but I don't want them too far apart either. 
And in doing this, it's going to really enhance the effect of the graphic that I'm going to superimpose on it. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to increase the size of it. So we're just going to increase it. And again, you can increase it to whatever size that you want. And you can place it wherever you want on the canvas. I'm going to, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to center it both vertically and horizontally. And we'll know that we are centered because we get those purple um, horizontal and vertical lines. Okay. Now, as with the previous episode, the first thing that we want to do is we want to duplicate this layer so that we can create an outline effect. So we're going to click on this duplicate icon over here. And as you can see, Canva created a duplicate for us. And in order to create an outline effect, we're going to click on effects and we're going to choose hollow and we're going to take down the thickness of the outline to about 25. Okay. Now, again, we want to move the text outline just slightly out of the way. Again, do not take it off of the canvas entirely because if you do, Canva will think that you don't need it anymore and it will delete it. And then you'll have to go through the whole process again. So just bring it down to the corner at the bottom, wherever you feel comfortable with. Now, what we want to do is we want to bring in our graphic. Now, given the fact that we are using a black colored font and the graphic already is black in color, we cannot superimpose that onto the text because in doing so, we won't get the effect that we're hoping for. So this is where we need to bring in another online platform, which is an amazing platform to use, and that's called Photopea. Okay, and again, Photopea is very similar to Photoshop, all right, but without, you know, having to have to spend tons of money to buy the Photoshop program and have it installed on your computer. So as you can see here, I have Photopea up on my screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that concentric design, which I have just off camera over here, and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it into where it says drop any files here. And as I do, Photopea opens it up on the screen. And then in order to convert this into a white design, all I have to do is on the keyboard is type Control and I, CTRL-I. And as you can see, the, the design has changed from black to white. Now what we want to do is we want to save it onto our hard drive so that we can use it on Canva. And in Photopea, because it is a web-based platform, we have to export it. Okay, we just can't hit save because in doing so, it will save it as a PSD file and you can't use that in Canva. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on file and we'll go down to export as and then we're going to choose PNG. This way, the background is going to remain transparent because if we save it as any of the other uh, files uh, like JPEG and PDF, we're going to get that white background and we don't need that. So we're going to click PNG and then obviously we're going to rename it. So let's just name it um, white circular. White, let's call it just white circle for, for all intents and purposes. Okay, and then we'll click on save. All right, so once it's saved, we're going to go back to Canva, to our design. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that downloaded white graphic and we're going to import it into Canva simply by clicking on the file and dragging it onto the canvas in Canva. Now I have the folder just off camera, so I'm just going to click on it, hold it with the left mouse button and drag it in as you can see over here and I'm going to let it go. Now, as you can see here, we have the white graphic on top of our black font. And what we want to do is we want to resize it and put it in place just so that it gives it a nice effect. Because as it stands right now, it's very confusing. It doesn't sit well and it might be very, very confusing to a potential customer if he or she should see it in the marketplace. So what I decided to do was I just grabbed it and I moved it over to the right. And I'm sort of taking this center over here just to where, you know, the, the two pieces of this end over here come together. Okay, just sort of giving it effect of, you know, you're moving into it, you're, you're being drawn into it. Now, what I need to do is simply to take the outline version, which is on top, and bring it back and hover it just above the black solid text. Okay, it takes a little bit of playing around with, but now we've got that outline. Oh, okay, and it's a lot cleaner now. We've got those outlines around the letters U, P, N, D, and it really stands out nice. It pops. So, in respect to this, I'm really happy with this, but because of the fact that I'm using the free version of Canva, when I download it as a PNG, it's going to be downloaded with a white colored background. And we don't want that for print on demand because that's not really appealing having that unsightly white background on a t-shirt, particularly if it's red or any other color. So what we need to do is we need to use another online platform in order to remove the background. And my favorite go-to online platform is 
the online image background remover, Hex Colors Picker. And again, I will leave a link to this website in the description box below so that obviously if you want to use it, you're more than welcome to. So what we need to do is first of all, go back to Canva and what we're gonna do is we're gonna download it. So we're gonna click on download, making sure that PNG is selected. We're gonna click on download. We'll wait for Canva to download the graphic that we've created. All right, and once it's done that, we are going to bring it up. We'll go back to the online image background remover program. And all I'm gonna do is, again, I'm going to grab the file which I have off camera, it's in another folder here, and we're gonna drag it into this rectangle area here. Then we'll wait for the program to load it up, which as you can see has already happened. And we'll just click on erase. By default, you're given sort of a strength of 20. I found it at quite sufficient, there's no need to change it. And then once I'm happy with that, all I'm gonna do is because of the fact that I wanna get rid of white, I'm just gonna click anywhere on the white, wait a few seconds, and the program removes anything and everything that is white, including the white, which obviously was in the graphic, which is absolutely brilliant because that's going to allow for any customer who selects any of the colored shirts that are offered by the particular print-on-demand platform that he or she is shopping on to see the color of the shirt coming through that design as well. So it's really going to stand out nicely. Now, all I have to do is again, scroll down, just click on PNG in order to download it obviously with the transparent background. And once we have it downloaded, I can go ahead and upload it onto my favorite mock-up program, which you know I tend to use Placeit. Um, I also use Vexels for that, and I also use Smart Mockups. So it depends on what mockups I found on each of the platforms. I'm going to leave links to all three of these particular platforms in the description below so that you're welcome to have a look at them. Um, if you don't know about them, go through them. Um, they are affiliate links, so I do get a little commission. If you do use it, it goes to help support this channel, so I thank you in advance. Again, you can use the free version, but they are a little bit limited, but at least get into it and get your feet wet and try to figure out which one of these platforms, if any, are applicable to you. It just helps to take your print-on-demand business to the next level, particularly when you are promoting your designs on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and what have you. Okay, so as I stated earlier on, I already went ahead and I created um, some mock-ups with the designs. So I'm going to show you what the designs look like when I finish them on Canva and then what they look like on the, uh, the mock-ups that obviously I can put up on any of the print-on-demand platforms that I use. So let's just bring those up now. So here's the first design and I use the text black hole because as I was looking at the design, it really looked like obviously I could be falling into a black hole. Perhaps this could be really appealing to those who are obviously in the scientific field, who are into astronomy or whatnot. Next one pertains to the golf niche, sink the putt. And here we have the golf ball. The next one is be happy. Okay, we took that hexagonal pattern which gave the impression of a bee's honeycomb, superimposed it onto the text. And obviously, be happy is a take off the phrase, be happy, be e. So this would be great for, you know, children's wear or even for adults too. Why not? Okay. And the final one is time to crack a dad joke. So this could be a great design for anybody who has a dad who likes to crack jokes. And it could be a great Father's Day gift, birthday gift, or even a Christmas gift. So why not? You could put it up and see how many takers it would be by obviously keying in a great title, a great description, and obviously finding the relevant keyword tags for that. Okay, so let's take a look at the mockups now and just change the screen here. So these mockups that I'm gonna show you were all taken from Placid. And as you can see here, I found this beautiful photo of this little young girl on a swing, obviously very, very happy to be there. And obviously I changed the color of the shirt to yellow and I superimposed be happy. So it goes along the theme of bees and honey and whatnot. Okay, the next mock-up obviously is Black Hole, and here we have somebody who is playing a video game, maybe perhaps it's a space-orientated video game or whatnot, and given the fact that I kept the, the text black in color and superimposed the graphic after converting it to white, it really gives a really cool effect to it as well. Okay, so the third photo that I found is this gentleman over here, and I superimposed Time to Crack a Dad Joke over a black shirt, which really goes great with the theme of the design, at least in my opinion. And then finally, the one that you saw me creating was Don't Wind Me Up. And I found this photo of this woman who's looking rather, rather serious and, you know, perhaps maybe wondering, what did somebody say to her to give her that particular expression? And it really fit brilliantly, at least in my opinion, with Don't Wind Me Up. So as you can see, everyone, it's really not that difficult to create these amazing text effects using these various black and white um, graphics. 
through Canva in conjunction with Photopea and obviously the background image removal tool that I showed you. All it takes is a little bit of time to find those really amazing phrases, doing a little bit of research in terms of what is selling and, you know, come up with your own take for those designs using this technique that I showed you in the free version of Canva. And before you know it, your portfolio on whichever print-on-demand platform you are selling on is going to grow exponentially. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now.